Trent Alexander-Arnold The England international played through the pain barrier against Brighton and Hove Albion after injuring his knee in the pre-match warm-up. While the right-back felt sufficiently comfortable to play the full 90 minutes, the extent of the damage became apparent after the match and could be out of action for up to a month. Alexander-Arnold will not require any surgery on the issue, but the process of healing makes it difficult for Liverpool to put an accurate timescale on his return, though Reds boss Jurgen Klopp has refused to rule the defender out of his side's home clash with Crystal Palace. Klopp update, Genie and Trent we will decide by day, it's not cool. The exceptional thing of that story is they both played 90 minutes at Brighton. The whole world saw what happened to Trent. What a boy. Unbelievable to play that game and afterwards we got the information that he had pain. Nothing happened to him during the game, it's just what happened before it. Adrenaline is obviously an interesting thing, it gives you an opportunity to do a bit more than you would expect. We will see. We will wait for both for sure really close for Saturday, I don't want to close any doors before anybody tells me to close them. Expected return, January 2019 Genie Wijnaldum the Dutchman also suffered a knee injury against Brighton but has not yet been ruled out of Saturday's Anfield clash against Palace despite being a major doubt. His condition will be monitored closely this week before a decision is made on his availability. Klopp update, Genie and Trent we will decide by day, it's not cool. The exceptional thing of that story is they both played 90 minutes at Brighton. The whole world saw what happened to Trent. What a boy. Unbelievable to play that game and afterwards we got the information that he had pain. Nothing happened to him during the game, it's just what happened before it. Adrenaline is obviously an interesting thing, it gives you an opportunity to do a bit more than you would expect. We will see. We will wait for both for sure really close for Saturday, I don't want to close any doors before anybody tells me to close them. Expected return, January 2019 Adam Lallana Adam Lallana missed Liverpool's FA Cup exit to Wolves in Premier League clash with Brighton and Hove Albion with a minor, unspecified injury but the playmaker could return against Crystal Palace. Klopp update, Adam trained yesterday and the day before, so he should be in contention. We have to see. We will have to see how he reacts in the session today. Expected return, January 2019 Nat Phillips Critchley update, Nat is going through a period of rehabilitation after having an operation. We saw him play 45 minutes against Everton, but he wasn't quite right in that game and didn't feel right. The physios went down a different route in terms of how to handle his injury. He has had surgery and I don't want to put a time frame on when he will be back, but we know one thing with Nat is that he is very conscientious with the hard work he does and hopefully we can have him back before the end of the season, which would be really nice. Expected return, March-April 2019 Dejan Lovren the Croatian limped off in Liverpool's FA Cup defeat to Wolverhampton Wanderers with a hamstring injury, leaving the Reds with Fabinho and 16-year-old debutant Kajana Hover out of position as a makeshift centre-back partnership. Not ready to return against Crystal Palace, Klopp is hopeful the Croatian will be fit to return before the end of the month. Klopp update, Dejan is much better than he was, it's a muscle thing and needs time. I'm sure he can be involved again against Leicester on January 30th.
expected return. January 2019 Joe Gomez Defender Joe Gomez is making good progress after suffering a fractured leg suffered during Liverpool's win over Burnley. The centre-back is making good progress after missing the entire Christmas period and start of the new year, but is not yet ready to return. Clock update, Joe, no, improving, improving, improving and we hope it will be quick from now on, but we don't know exactly. Expected return, January 2019 Ryan Brewster The England Under-17's World Cup winner is still recovering from the ankle and knee operations he underwent after damaging ligaments playing for Liverpool Under-23s against Manchester City back in January 2018. Sidelined for a year, the Reds are unwilling to rush the forward, but he has stepped up his recovery after starting training outside again. However, he is unlikely to return before preseason. Klopp update, not as far as he wants to be. I saw him in the last hour, he was outside training and his running looks much better since he had another little surgery. He is in a good way. It will take time, but he has the time. We don't have to think about him before the preseason, but he is in a really good way and in a good mood. He is really integrated in the team, but so far hasn't been able to show that on the pitch. Our opinion about him will not change. We have to wait a little bit longer, and sometimes that's how things are. Expected return, July 2019 Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain The England international remains a long-term absentee after suffering multiple knee ligament damage in the Champions League semi-final first leg against as Roma last April and is likely to miss the majority of the 2018-19 season. However, after starting running outside for the first time in December, Klopp is hopeful he will play a part in Liverpool's run-in. Klopp update, he is in a very good way. That will still take a couple of. Last time I put a bit of pressure on the medical department. But when I see him moving the ball and what he's doing already it looks really good, promising, close to return. But after so long out, April, against Roma, he will be fine, he looks completely without any problems our moment no swelling anymore, so he can really work on his fitness issues. It's a surprise. He's ahead of schedule. That's always good news. We try not to push him too much, but we don't want to hold him back. If he makes further steps like he did in the last few weeks he can play Premier League football this season which is nice to know. I think we will see him this season. Expected return, April 2019.